وزار آیت الزیر یقود الفی آیات نا اینڈ وین یو سی پیپل ہو آر میڈلنگ ود اور ریولیشن دے مے دے یوز ٹو ماک ایٹ اٹ اسکاف اٹ اینڈ سو آن بٹ دس از دی انسٹرکشن ٹو آل دی مسلم وچ واز گیون اینڈ وی ریڈ دس آیا ان صورت النساء آلسو اینڈ دس آیا واز ریفرڈ وزار آیت الزیر یقود الفی آیات نا وین یو سی پیپل دے آر میڈلنگ ود اور ریولیشن فار از آن You turn away from there. Don't sit with them. Hatta yakhudu fi hadithin ghairi. Until they are engaged in some other discourse. Then you can come to them. Because you can't leave them, you know, forever. You have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can't part from them permanently. Hatta yakhudu fi hadithin ghairi. Wa imma yunsiyanna ka shaitan. And if Satan makes you forget, you are sitting with them, they are meddling and joking about the, the Prophet of Allah or the Ayat of Allah, and you just didn't remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has commanded me to go away and not sit there. وَإِمَّا يُنْسِيَنَّكَ الشَّيْطَانُ فَلَا تَقُدْ بَعْدَ الزِّكْرَى When a recollection comes to you, when you remember, now don't sit for another even one second. مَا الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ with these people who are evil doers wa ma ala alladhina yattaquna min hisabihim min shay and definitely people who have fear of allah who are conscious of allah who have accepted allah who love allah on them there is no responsibility of these people if they are going astray they will face their what whatever you know punishment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them it's not on you you will not be brought to the book regarding them on their account walakin zikra la allahum yattaqun but this is a remembrance this is admonition allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending these ayat to remind them maybe that some one of them they take to taqwa they become muttaqi they become god conscious they mend their ways wazaril ladina taqadu wazaril ladina taqadu dinahum laiban wa lahwa and you leave alone these people who have taken their religion as only laibam wa lahwa a play or an amusement they don't take their, their religion seriously we can find people today also they, do, they are not serious about religion and such was the case about those people also they thought that they believe in these and these and these things but they were not very serious about these things wazari alladhina taqadu dinahum laibam wa lahwa wa gharathum al hayat al dunya This life of this world has deceived them. They are deceived by this life, fully occupied by it. As Allama Iqbal says, Kafir ki ye pehchan ke aafaq mein gum hai. Or Momin ki ye pehchan ke gum us mein hai aafaq. A Kafir is lost in this universe. He just loses the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is engrossed in this creation, in this world of matter. But a Momin... He lives in this world, but he rises to a higher level of consciousness, and he is always conscious of the Creator, of the Rab, of the Master. Actually, this is the difference. Wada tu bul hayat ul dunya, wa zakir behi an tu bsala nafsun, and zakir behi. Now third time note, zakir behi. This pronoun behi. What is it alluding to? Quran. Zakir behi, try to remind them with this Quran. As you know, the last ayah of Surah Al-Kaf, wa zakir bil Quran iman yakhaf wa'id. Tazkir, you know, sermons, reminding, they should be through Quran. This is the best reminder. Who can have a better reminder than the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You don't try to make your own long speeches. There is no need. That is why we don't find very long speeches of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even in the khutbah of Jumaah, he used to recite Quran. Wherever he went to preach, he recited to them the ayat of Quran. This is the best mode, the best vehicle of, of conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَذَكِّرْ بِهِ And remind them with this. أَن تُبْسَ لَنَفْسُمْ بِمَا قَسْمَتْ Lest the soul of a person should be ruined due to what it has earned. لَيْسَ لَهَا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلِيُّ وَلَا شَفْعِي And again the repetition of the same thing. 
for that soul human soul there is no wali protector wala shafir no intercessor as i told you somewhere you find absolute categorical denial of no intercession whatsoever wala shafi wa intadil kull adlin and if you want to to ransom yourself with paying some fine etc it will not be la yukhadu minha it will not be accepted from him ulaika alladhina ubsalu bima kasabu they are the people who have been ruined due to their earnings whatever they have earned their deeds lahum sharabu min hamim for them will be the the boiling water for drinking wa azabun alimun and very painful torment bima kanu yakfurun due to the kufr that they had been doing due to the rejection of the faith and belying of the revelation of allah subhanahu wa taala qul an adu min dunillahi ma la yanfa'una wa la yaduruna say to them should we pray to and call to those deities besides allah leaving alone allah who cannot benefit us nor can they do us any harm this lat cannot benefit you this uzza cannot benefit you anything nor they can do you any harm anadu min dunillahi ma la yanfa'una wa la yaduruna wa nuraddu ala aqabina ba'da is hadana allah and do you wish that we should also be turned back on our heels when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us to the right path because they were pressurizing the muslims you come back to the to the deen of your forefathers why have you gone away from the beliefs of your forefathers your forefathers used to pray to this lat and uzza and manat and so and on and so forth why have you left them qul anadru say to them should we call and pray to those who cannot do any benefit to us no good to us neither they can harm us wa nuraddu ala aqabina nuraddu ala aqabina and we should be turned back on our heels ba'd ay sadan allah after that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the right guidance kal ladhi istahwat hu shayatin fi al ard hayran like those like the one whom the satans have lured to bewilderment in the earth though he has companions lahu ashabun yatunahu ilal huda ilal huda atina though he has companions beckoning him to guidance beckoning him to guidance saying atina come to us qul inna huda allah huwal huda guidance is the guidance of allah wa umirna li rusli bi rabbil alamin and we have been commanded to submit to the lord of all the worlds now this simile is very good because in makka there were people also who were calling towards allah and there were people who were pressing them to go back to their ancestral religion now in this condition we have people who are calling us to allah we have muhammad we have abu bakr they are calling us to the right path how can we go back and go back on our heels to that religion of the past which you know was possessed and professed by our forefathers wana qimu salata wa taqu and that you establish the prayer and have taqwa of allah wa huwa allazi ilayhi tusharun and he is the one to him to whom you will all be gathered barakallahu li wa lakum fil fil quran alazim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikri al hakim